In all my years of teaching, I found that resolution is a concept that makes creative people very uncomfortable. Most don't understand it and often feel that the poor quality they see in print must be because they haven't specified this part correctly. And usually they're right. It's extremely important to have the correct resolution for the image because it can make the difference between crisp and professional artwork and a sloppy amateurish piece of artwork. So let's start by defining resolution and what it means to the different groups that use Photoshop. Resolution refers to the size of the building blocks that make up an image and help to resolve its clarity, its size and appearance on screen or when it's printed. When we work with raster images in Photoshop that are made up of pixels as its building blocks, then we refer to the image resolution as pixels per inch or PPI. If you're shopping for a digital camera, you might be faced with choosing between a 5 megapixel, 8 megapixel, or a 12 megapixel camera. This refers to the total number of pixels that are captured and used to represent the image. If you're a web designer, you might be faced with specifying absolute sizes and pixel values. For example, 800 pixels by 600 pixels is common for full width images intended for the web. The size really depends on the available real estate on your web page. For a print designer or to a pre-press artist, resolution refers to the size of the pixels per printed inch or centimeter, depending on which part of the world you live in. For example, 300 pixels per inch or PPI. The higher the resolution, the smaller is the size of the building blocks or pixels because more of them are crammed together in one inch. The most important aspect of this discussion, though, is how much resolution do you need to print great quality artwork? And here are some straightforward recommendations. If you're printing to an inkjet printer, then your image resolution need not exceed 250 pixels per inch. And 200 to 230 is probably a reasonable range to shoot for for the majority of images. It gets a bit more involved when you print to devices with a halftone screen like a color laser printer or when you're outputting film. In this case, there's a bit of math to do. You have to factor in the halftone screen ruling that will be used to print the image. In the case of a color laser, this might be anywhere from 80 to 90 lines per inch or LPI. And in the case of fine printing, anywhere from 150 to 200 LPI. The calculation you'll have to make here is to figure out one half times to twice the LPI of your printing device, and that's what your image resolution will need to be. From my years of doing this, I can tell you that it's safe to use a factor of 1.5 when working with soft, fuzzy artwork, images like furry pets, soft portraits, foliage, while sharp-edged art like strong diagonal lines, when you're shooting crystal, chrome, or bright objects, on the other hand, would benefit from the higher factor of twice the LPI.